Hello. Uh, good evening. Hope that you are doing well. Please, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do that. Okay, it will allow us to um, learn many things together. Uh, we are going to learn how to download uh, data from FAO state. Uh, data uh, from FAO states, uh, which are available for free, you can use them as complement for your, the data of your study, or even you can even use this secondary data to do uh, some kind of uh, discussion. So, then you have just to come on Google and now FAO state, um, type on it. It will bring you here. Uh -huh. As you can see, here we are. And now if you want to change it in Spanish or French, whatever, or English now, it's already in the pages by default in English. And now we have data, we have selected indicators, compared it and so on. Now, since we are talking about data, you have just to click on data. And uh, when you click on data, you have many things here, production, food security and nutrition. And so let us take production and we have those kind of things. We have crops and livestock production and this value and so on. Let us take this one. And when you are taking that this one, it will just um, give you access to this page where you will choose the country you want. Let us take one country. Uh, let's talk about which country we can talk about. Uh, in West Africa, there is a country called uh, Togo, uh, which is a sharing border with Ghana. Yes, then we are taking Togo, for example. Now, let us choose the crop, for example. Here, uh, things are proposed, but we can also directly um, write it. What we want, like primary crop, primary crop list, and we have soybean itself. We can just take it like this. We take in our soybean. We say that we're going to have information about soybean. Now, here, we have to choose with those data. The, this data inside here is time series data uh, collected from, from uh, okay, somehow uh, from, let's say, go down 1961 up to 22, 2020. Then let's that, uh, say that we want this data collected from uh, 2004 up to 2015. Okay, then you have just to choose the yes and and proceed. Mm. Okay, we want to see data collected from 2004 up to 2014 uh, in Togo, for example. Then we have different format. We have CSV format, XLS format. You can choose whatever you want. And now let us also this part. We want to see the yield. And we also see also the production quantity. Okay. If you want also to see area harvest and so on, we can just click on them. Uh, and now we can we can have the preview of the data before you need to download it. The preview review can just allow us to see if this data we are looking for is available. It's available. And from here, even we can even now download it, just clicking on this button. Now you can check and see our data. Data we have downloaded, we want to see how it looks like. Taking long. Can you see it's already here? Uh -huh. Crops, soybean, we have yield, togo, and the estimated value. Uh, okay, can you see we have data from 
2004 up to 2014. Yeah, you can use it for, to do whatever you want to do, like research and so on, or complement the data we have. Yeah, that is from the FO step. Then let us continue and check on other buttons from this uh, side. Okay, here yeah. um, you want to see how the indicators are uh, from. Again, Togo, for example, we can just go there, select indicators, we can just click on it again. And now from there, they will ask again to choose the country, for example, we can just take Senegal, yeah? Another country from West Africa, okay? Senegal is around here, can you see it? Okay. Then we went through the indicators on demographic input and so on, can you see? Okay. We have rural population and the urban population. The rural population is higher than urban one. Here is P sharp. We can even download it. We can even download it. Input here, how are the fertilizers and so on are used around here. We can see those graphs. We can use also in our study and so on. And going food security from 2000 up to 2021. What is happening in Senegal and so on? We have those barship to share, even as information. So that is, and it can really help us here. If you want to compare data from one period to another one, you can just do this. Uh, but hope that this video will help you to have, uh, let's say, say, free data for your study or your work, your reports, your thesis. Please subscribe to our channel. I hope that this video will help you. Thank you so much for your time.